Hello everyone, welcome to this new video. So in this today's video, we'll be solving the problem minimize the heights to. So this is a medium level question and is the problem of the day on Geeks for Geeks. So the company tags of the question are Microsoft and Adobe and the topic tags are arrays, greedy, data structures and algorithms. So let us go to the question now. Given an array ARR denoting heights of n towers and a positive integer k. All right. So for each tower, you must perform exactly one of the following operations exactly once. So increase the height of the tower by k, decrease the height of the tower by k. This is for sure. For each and every tower, you need to do one of the following operations. Okay. For every tower, you must do. And the freedom given is you can choose one of the following options like increase the height of the tower k by k or decrease the height of the tower by k. These are two other options. You can choose any one of them. Find out the minimum possible difference between the height of the shortest and the tallest towers after you have modified each tower. All right. So you can find a slight more modification of the problem here it note it is compulsory to increase or decrease the height by k for each tower great so as said you need to do the operation for each and every tower it's for you like to choose between either to increase or decrease after the operation the resultant array should not contain any negative integers okay so that is also a point that need to be kept in mind like operation that you're doing that must not result in any sort of negative elements let us assume i'm taking an element i'm decreasing it by k and the resultant came up to be came up to be a negative element that is not valid so that particular operation is not valid so that should be kept in mind so these are the these are the examples we'll see that in brief okay so uh, expected time complexity is o of n log n and space complexity is o of n so the solution that we are going to discuss that is going to take the same time complexity o of n log n but whereas space it's much more optimized it's just o of 1 but we are not taking any extra space to solve it okay and the k goes up to 10 power 9 n goes up to 10 power 5 and array of i goes up to 10 power 9 these are the constraints given so with this you can actually have uh, you know an understanding like what could be an approach to solve this and also clearly mentioned in the question itself it is a greedy question okay and we are going to do it in a greedy fashion without Take, without taking any extra space much more greedy okay so that's it now let us go through the question like go through the examples so these are the examples given this is the first example uh, k equal to 2 n equal to 4 and 1 5 8, 8 10 initially what is the difference between the greatest element and the least element that is 10 minus 1 is equal to 9 okay and your output turns out to be 5 so what is this what can you infer from this so this is the least possible difference least possible difference you cannot find any difference that is less than this and what is this difference this difference is actually max element minus min element so how did you get that so as you can see 1 5 8 10 it's already in sorted so we'll see the importance of sorted in the later part now we'll just see this this sorted so you have increased k uh, like you increase the elements by k till this 0th index and then after that e kept on decreasing pi minus k 8 minus k 10 minus k so what is the k value 2 so after doing this particular modification he has got 3 3 6 8 and now what is the maximum element here 8 what's the minimum element here 3 so that is equal to 5 okay great now we have uh, found that this difference is equal to 5 so whatever the modification you try to do let us assume you keep decreasing minus if you do minus here what would be the value here 1 minus uh, 2 that is minus 1 it's not valid so you must definitely add plus so let us assume instead of 5 plus k you do uh, minus k you do 5 plus k so what would be the answer that time 7 isn't it 5 plus 2 7 and here 10 minus 2 it's still 8 this is still greater so again the difference would be the difference between the max and the minimum would be 8 minus 3 5 itself so you keep doing whatever the modifications you wanted to do valid modifications you still end up with 5 as the least possible answer great so this is for it and coming to the second example again this array is sorted isn't it 3 9 12 16 20 increasing order and uh, what is the initial difference 20 minus 3 that is actually equal to 70 and that has been minimized to 11 this is the least possible so what did he do till first index he kept on increasing the values so 3 plus k this would be equal to 6 and 9 plus k that would be 12 and he kept on decreasing from this particular point so 9 13 17 and what's the difference between maximum and minimum now 17 minus 6 that is actually equal to 11 isn't it so whatever the modification that you wanted to do like you can try doing different modifications that's not going to possible like you'll not be ending up with much more least possible value least value okay so 11 is the least value that you can actually get uh, the maximum minimum I'm sorry maximum minus minimum minimum difference value okay so i hope you people understood what are the outputs and what are they actually trying to ask so i'll just erase these things and we'll start figuring out the approach so i'll just erase these parts as well okay hmm. taking a lot of time fine so let's not so what is the first thing that you need to observe so what are the value of elements that is being given to you okay so let us assume some random values are given like this eight seven 3, uh, 10, 
at 9 and then 13 okay what are the random values that have been given to you now first thing is you need to figure out the maximum value isn't it you need to figure out the maximum value what's the maximum value here 13 and then you need to figure out the minimum value what is that 3 now what are you doing using your common sense so as per the question it's clearly mentioned that you will be increasing the elements and you will be decreasing some elements so that your maximum value and minimum value difference is the least possible value okay least possible value and for that to come to a conclusion for that like you need to increase to certain time values you need to increase the values you need to increase some elements by k to certain group of values and you need to decrease the some uh, some elements by k for certain group of values isn't it certain elements you will increase them by k certain elements you will decrease by k and what are those certain elements how can you come to a conclusion that which elements that you can increase and which elements you can decrease so that can be done by sorting so if you actually sort this particular array if you actually sort this particular array what would be the array that you'll be getting so i'll be getting this particular array 3 and then uh, 7 and then 8 and then 9 and then 10 and then 13 okay so this is what i'm going to get i'll just erase this last box uh okay so this is what i'm going to get now i see that let us assume i'm increasing the value of this particular element by k let us assume k value is actually 2 okay so if i'm increasing this value by k so this element would be 5 okay and if i decrease keep on decreasing the values after this particular position like zeroth position is what i have increased and i decided that after zeroth position all the elements are decreased by k so that becomes 7 minus 2 5 8 minus 2 6 9 minus 2 that's equal to 7 okay 10 minus 2 that's equal to 9 13 minus 2 that's equal to 11 now if you see the difference between the maximum and minimum you get 11 minus 5 to be equal to 6 because this is the max I mean, minimum most value this is the maximum most value so 11 minus 5 equal to 6 initially what is the difference 13 minus 3 equal to 10 so from 10 we have got the minimum value to be well, from 10 the initial difference we have got the present difference to be 6 so we, we have actually optimized so it's a basic sense it's a common sense that you need to first sort the area of sort the elements of the array isn't it one because there's no constant regarding the order there's nothing like you need to follow the specific order or something so it's a common sense that you need to increase some values some sort of uh, some certain group of elements by k and then the other certain group of elements you need to decrease by k isn't it so that is the only possible way we can reduce the gap between the minimum most element and the maximum most element so we need to make sure all the minimum and maximum group elements combine get together in the like there's a very least difference value between those two it's like lower caste people higher caste people the nonsense thing that's there in the society we need to minimize it so how do we minimize it we can progress the life values of uh, uh, low caste people and uh, i couldn't say this but still uh, for the question i need to say this i uh, like decrease the value of uh, you know high class people so in that case we can actually merge it up so the similar case happens here as well so these possible elements least minimum elements we are increasing and decrease and other elements we are uh, decreasing now that there comes a question so you are telling that for zeroth element until zeroth element i'll be increasing and from that later part till the end i'll be decreasing what if i say till first till first means till this first index i'll keep increasing and from this particular value i'll, I'll decrease i'll keep decreasing like from first to the last i'll keep decreasing uh, so there is this is also a valid point right so you might say that so from zeroth to first i'll keep increasing so initially what i told us i'll be following this particular fashion so this is zeroth uh, okay let me draw it properly so i'll increase for zeroth and i'll decrease by so this is zeroth so initially the line is like this okay let me draw this properly so initially initially initial okay initially the line is like this so what am i doing i am increasing the value of zero zeroth element so it becomes like this isn't it so i am decreasing the values of all the elements after zero so you are telling like this uh, so i am telling like this and your uh, you know your uh, sort of thing is you will be decrease you will be increasing for zeroth and first index values as well and then decreasing all the other one keep decreasing the other value so this is also a valid uh, you know argument you can even do that so if you do this so let us assume till first index i am keep on increasing the values so i'll just uh, erase this part so till first index i'll keep on increasing the values so this becomes 5 and 7 plus 2 9 and 8 minus 2 now you decrease 6 9 minus 2 7 and this remains 9 and this remains 11 so what is the maximum and minimum difference this is 11 minus 5 this is actually equal to 6 okay and now other person is saying till second index i'll keep on increasing the values so in that moment it will get 5 this will be 9 and uh, this will be 8 plus 2 that is equal to 10 and this is 7 this is 9 this is 11 again the maximum and minimum value difference is 11 minus 5 is equal to 6 and another person is saying that till third index i'll be keeping keep increasing the values so we'll be getting 5 9 10 and then here i'll be getting 11 and i'll be getting uh, 10 minus 2 that's equal to uh, okay this is 10 minus 2 right so why did i do this 9 minus 2 uh, okay okay so this must be 8 actually so this is 8 so 
this is 8 so this is 8 this is 8 and uh, yeah this is 8 this is 11 so again what is the uh, you know minimum and maximum uh, value 11 and minus 5 that is actually equal to 6 again so some other person is telling it will fourth index i'll keep on increasing the values then it will be 5 9 10 11 and uh, 12 and this would be 11 so again 11 minus 5 equal to 6 so even if you keep on increasing this particular till 13th also doesn't make any difference your difference would be still you know like they yeah, are this time your difference would be increased because you're 13 you're making 15 so 5, 9, 10, 12, 11, 12, 15, okay, 12, 15, and your difference right now would be 15 minus 5, which is equal to 10. This is much more greater than 6, so we'll not be considering it. So it's a very evident, right? Who will increase the value of the last possible element? No one does. So what am I trying to say is, so there are value choices for each and every i, okay, till every i, till every i, till every i, I can keep increasing from 0 to i, I keep increasing from i plus 1 to n, I'll keep decreasing okay so this is the thing and at every possible uh, at every update i'll be finding the maximum minus minimum maximum minus minimum and i'll update it with my answer so if it is less than the answer then i'll update it okay answer would be max minus min that i've got if that particular uh, you know difference is lesser than the answer that i've initially had initial uh, difference okay so this is what i'm trying to do i hope you people are understanding what we are actually planning to so what are the points that we need to take in note before proceeding further so after each and every update at a particular i we are trying to figure out the maximum value minimum value and taking out its difference isn't it for that we need not iterate the array once again it's a basic common sense that we are going to use and solve it using the properties of a sorted array so let us assume these are the array elements and let us say that i kept on increasing till this point and i kept on decreasing till this point so let us assume this is the point this is the bifurcation point okay after this all the elements would be decreased by k before that all the elements are increased by k okay so now there's a fight okay now there's a fight for the current minimum position current minimum position after this update and current maximum position after this update so what is the fight with whom is the fight between whom is the fight for current minimum position there is a fight between fight between like this particular array this particular element and this particular element why is it so because this element has been decreased isn't it this element has been decreased by k this element has been decreased by k this element has been increased by k so there is a chance that after this decrease this element would have been smaller than this element there is a chance isn't it after the decrease this element this particular new element okay new element is new one let us assume this is new two so new one can be less than new two there's a chance isn't it after the because we are decreasing and this element we are increasing so there's a chance let us assume initially it was one year and two year let us assume you're decreasing by one so this becomes one and this becomes two now this is greater so your minimum element must be this so that is the reason there is a fight between okay so i'll just erase these points there is uh uh, just erase these things as well so there's a fight between this point this particular element and this particular element so what is this particular element so till i is what we are increasing okay this is i this is i minus 1 this is i minus 2 this is i plus uh, 1 this is i plus 2 this is i plus 3 this is i plus 4 till i we have increased so i plus 1 is this particular element so current minimum would be array of i minus 1 sorry array of i plus 1 minus k isn't it array of i plus 1 minus k and what is the uh, here this particular thing uh, this uh, initially we are will be storing this particular zero element as minimum so this would be minimum so minimum so in both these two you take the minimum value isn't it that would be the current minimum value either after the update you'll be getting some value here and you'll be getting some value here take the minimum of both of them that would be your current minimum value i hope you people are understanding because we are decreasing this by k there's a chance that this could be less than the initial minimum element okay now current minimum is solved okay one of some of them will be winning now for current max we will be fighting this particular element and this particular element why because this is the element that we are increasing isn't it ith element is what we are increasing plus k here we are doing and minus k here we are doing so there's a chance that this element can can be greater than this last element initially this last element is the maximum most value isn't it now because at i we are increasing by k and this we are decreasing by k there's a chance that i element would be greater than n minus one element like last element okay array of i will be greater than array of n minus one there's a chance for this so that is the reason current maximum would be max of array of i plus i plus k and the original uh, like the maximum value like updated value so minimum would be so initially minimum would be minimum would be array of 0 plus k and maximum would be maximum would be array of n minus 1 minus k okay so these are the minimum and maximum value we are we are going to update the minimum like the zeroth element and the last element for sure last element will be decreasing by k I mean first element will be increasing by k that is the only way we can de decrease the difference initially now we are trying to look out for other indexes maybe till other indexes we can increase and decrease and then we can find a new difference between the maximum and minimum that is what we are trying to do okay so initially this would be for sure minimum will be the zeroth element will be increased plus k okay and last element would be decreased by k that is for sure that is what we are going to do that's the reason we'll be storing them in into minimum and into maximum and we are going for each and every uh, i and we are trying to figure out that okay i hope you people understood by this we'll be getting current minimum and current maximum and if in case your current minimum current minimum 
turns out to be greater than or equal to zero. So that means it's a valid operation that we have done. Current minimum turns out to be greater than or equal to zero. Then we'll be updating our answer. So here, after, at this point, we'll be having int answer to be maximum minus minimum. So here, current answer would be minimum of minimum of uh, answer comma uh, current max current max minus current min. Okay. So this is how we'll be updating the minimum most value difference. Okay. So I hope you are understanding this. Initially, answer will be storing the difference between the maximum and minimum value. And after at every iteration, if your current minimum turns out to be greater than or equal to zero, that means max will always be greater than zero. So minimum, if it's greater than or equal to zero, then it's a valid operation. Then you can take the difference between current max and current min. If that difference is still less than the original answer difference, that means you can consider that. That is the least possible difference that we have ever met in that particular, you know, iterations or updated updations. Okay. So I hope you people understood this approach. So it's a lot of things that we have done, like greedily, and we are trying to cut off the space instead of doing taking extra space we are doing it in off one space that's the speciality of this method so now let us code this up so first one let us sort the array that's for sure array comma array plus n okay that's for sure that we are going to do and then take int answer to be array of uh, n minus 1 minus uh, so array of 0 okay array of 0 and then int minimum so or you can do one thing so i'll just take this off int minimum int uh, minimum is arr of 0 plus k and int maximum okay int maximum equal to array of n minus 1 plus uh, minus k okay so we have decreased max uh, maximum element by k and minimum element by uh, uh, plus k okay we have increased array of 0 plus k now take int answer to be equal to maximum minus minimum okay and what's the next thing so let us take two variables current max and current min okay and uh, after this start iterating for int i equal to 0 i less than n minus 1 i plus plus so what is the var for current minimum what is the var between two variables what is that minimum of array of i plus 1 minus uh, sorry yeah minus k and the minimum that you have so far minimum okay so this is the fight between these two and what is the fight for current max position max of array of i plus k comma maximum that you have so far okay this is the fight between these two variables and if your current minimum turns out to be greater than or equal to zero then yes it is a valid uh, you know updation so answer would be minimum of answer comma current max minus okay current max minus current min fine so finally you return the answer okay finally you can return the answer i hope you people understood so let us even uh, you know run this code and check five five yes it's maximum and we'll submit the answer now okay where did it fail uh, your code's output is okay so the reason it is getting is after the updation like after plus k and minus k there is a chance that this maximum would be negative and this minimum would be possible positive so it is actually requ recommended that you do this before itself so int answer would be better if you update like int answer and minus one minus uh, area of zero okay so if we do this then we can you know come out of this native value so because in this example if you check uh, like there's a chance that initially your uh, your answer variable that you have taken 1, 8, 10. So your maximum is 10 and the minimum is 1. So and the value of k that they have given is uh, uh, 8, uh, 7, I guess. So once you do it, so your maximum is decreased than your minimum. So that reason you'll be getting your answer to be negative value. So before you do that, you can store this here itself. Int answer equal to array of n minus 1 minus array of 0. Then you can take int minimum to be array plus 0, array of 0 plus k and maximum to be array of n minus 1 minus k. So this is one of these uh, small mistakes that we could actually do. So with these things, we can actually come out of this small mistake. It's completely fine to learn from these things. Okay, that's a small mistake. Like, yes, the, we have the same principle we are following that we need to follow for 0th element and n minus 1 element as well, right? So that is the reason we are initially storing the int answer to be array of n minus 1 minus array of 0. And then we are trying to figure out this uh, minimum most uh, difference. Okay, so now let us uh, submit this code and check. Okay, now it's completely working fine. Okay, so this is a very good problem. Like it tested the greedy levels of, uh, you know, uh, greedy problem level skills, solving skills. So if there are any doubts, please feel to comment in the comment section and the codes in C++, C++ Java, Python are there in the description. Please go through them. And if in case there's any doubt, please do the manual dry run. You'll understand why are we doing that particular operation. Okay, so this is the point where I got a mistake. So initially we need to take the difference between array of n minus one minus array of zero before updating itself because after updating the zero element and n minus one element, we might find n minus n minus first element to be less than array of zero so in that case answer would be less than or equal answer less than equal to zero answer would be negative the difference would be negative so we need to come out of it we need we must not do such an operation so that's the reason initially we'll be do, taking in answer to be this and then we will be uh, updating accordingly starting from zero till the last element okay so i hope you people understood so uh, thank you for watching stay tuned